Let's revise solving some GCSE physics energy questions. These are OCR questions, however, I've specifically chosen them so they are applicable to all exam boards. Okay, first one, we have a gas fire used to heat up a room and we're given the input energy transfer being 180,000 joules per minute. Use the efficiency equation, we're given the efficiency here, to calculate the useful output energy transfer per minute. Okay, now all we need to do really is to just to rearrange this equation for the energy output. So our energy output, I'm just going to write this as E output, will actually be equal to the efficiency times the input energy transfer and our efficiency is 0 0.8 and we're just going to multiply by the input energy transfer uh, which in this case is 180,000 joules and if we put that into a calculator we're going to get around about 144,000 joules the correct answer is D Okay, question 11, we have a pump which uh, lifts 500 kg of water to a water tank at the top of a building and the water gains 240,000 joules of gravitational potential energy. We're given the gravitational field strength is around 10 newtons per kilogram and we need to use this equation to calculate the height of the water tank. Okay, so I'm just going to use symbols uh, for this equation. So potential energy EP is equal to mass times the height times gravitational field strength, which uh, I'm just going to call G. Now all we need to do is rearrange for the height so the height is equal to the potential energy divided by the mass times g. So let's plug in some numbers. The potential energy is given in the question. So that's going to be 240,000. Then we're going to be dividing that by the mass, which is 500 and then we're also going to multiply that by the gravitational field strength which is just 10 and if we calculate this out we are going to get 48 meters for the height so therefore the correct answer is B. Next one, a ball is thrown vertically into the air. Energy is transferred from a chemical store. Where is the useful energy transfer to? Okay, so the key bit here is useful. And if we're throwing the ball up into the air, chances are the useful energy will be just that. And once the ball gains height, the energy right at the top will be purely potential or gravitational potential energy. Therefore, the correct answer is B, gravitational store only. Okay, next one, we have a card has a mass of 1000 kilograms and traveling at a speed of 20 meters per second. Calculate the kinetic energy of the car. So remember our kinetic energy is equal to a half times the mass times the speed square, where with V, we've just called the speed. Okay, well, this will be equal to a half times a thousand, because the mass is a thousand, multiplied by the speed, which is just 20. Do not forget the square, that is one of the most common mistakes. And putting this into a calculator, we're going to get around 200,000 joules. Correct answer is C. Okay, next one, the average temperature on Earth has increased over the last century, a very worrying question, which statement explains why? So radiation absorbed by the Earth has decreased, that is not correct, it would not have led to that result. Radiation absorbed is less than the radiation emitted, that would have led to the temperature decreasing. Radiation absorbed is greater than the radiation emitted, this has to be correct. 